the people that live here are the tenants. Um, so we come in and support them 24 hours a day. I did work somewhere where somebody would do a sleepover and there would be one waking night staff um, and they, if there was an issue, they have to wake you up so you could get up to assist them. Um, and that was because there was only funding, obviously, for one person to be awake and one to be asleep. Um, it's much easier to have the assistive technology. It's more useful at night time because um, that's when the staff are on their own. You're not there to see them if they get out of bed. The pager beeps until you acknowledge that it's beeping. Um, and when you look on it, it comes up on the display and it tells you which door has been open. This is an external door with um, an alarm on the top. So if anybody goes out of the door, it sets the pager off. And then we can have a look and see which bedroom it was on the display. It's quite useful if somebody's got dementia, um, if they get confused and get in and out of bed at night. This is a pressure mat which goes on the bed underneath the sheet. Um, the sheet goes on top. So when the service user, if they're lying in bed, um, they put the pressure on it and then if they climb out of bed, it will make the pager go off so the staff will be alerted that they've gotten out of bed. In one of the bedrooms we have a sound sensor which is helpful if somebody's having a seizure, then it will pick up the sound and come through to the pager. And there's also an assistance um, call system on there. So if somebody was having a seizure and we needed help, we could press the button to call the other staff. So it makes more sense to have the assistive technology.